Hi everyone, happy day 262. Last night was the start of Logan's football training season. Every Tuesday and Thursday from now until August 14th, Logan will be lifting weights and getting in shape for the fall football season. Because of this, I had to adjust my schedule once again. We decided yesterday afternoon to all go home, bring Logan to football, and spend a night in our own beds. I think going forward for the rest of the summer up at camp, I'm just going to take it one day at a time. This morning, after I threw my last load of laundry in the washing machine, I put on my running shoes and went for a nice run in my neighborhood. I finished up around 9, just in time for church. I contemplated going to church in person this morning, but decided against it because I had too much to do before going back up to camp this afternoon. I honestly felt really guilty about it and wished I had gone, but I can't beat myself up. I will just make sure I go next time the opportunity presents itself. The laundry can always wait. I finished up saying the rosary and my last loop about 9 o'clock just in time for Mass, so I grabbed my phone and decided to listen to it while doing a cool-down walk around my neighborhood. In the Gospel today, we hear Jesus telling the disciples to not be showy in their good deeds. Take care to not perform righteous deeds in order that people may see them. Do not blow a trumpet before you. This story reminds me of when I was little and people were becoming aware of the dangers of smoking cigarettes. I was at the hospital once with my mom and on the wall they had a picture of a healthy smoke-free lung and a picture of a lung after years of smoke damage. The healthy one was pink and the damaged one was black. I remember thinking that if everyone knew this then they would never smoke again. So I made it my eight-year-old mission to tell every smoker I came in contact with that they had black lungs. My mother very quickly silenced my trumpet. The same thing happened when I first got sober and came to know Christ. I felt like I had found the answer to life, and I assumed that if everyone knew about Jesus, they would feel the same. But that wasn't the case. People were happy for my newfound faith, but once again, they didn't want to hear my trumpet blowing. In both of these situations, I have to ask myself, what was my motive? Was I trying to educate others so they would be healthy, or did I want others to see how wrong they were? Was I trying to bring others to Christ through my newfound faith, or did I secretly want others to see the change in me? I hope all of you out there have a blessed day 262. Please know that I am praying for you always, and I will see you again tomorrow at camp.